Rafikis, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Matindi Jacobs. If you're joining me for the first time, I do videos on home design, home interior decor, organization videos, and the occasional lifestyle video. If you're an oldie, but a goodie, hey Rafiki, welcome back to you. Today's video, I thought I'd be showing you guys how I've restyled and updated my vanity table. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I did a video like this in 2019 when I just started out my YouTube channel and a lot has changed since then. Hey, my style has definitely evolved, as you can imagine. So I needed to make sure that my vanity table was a depiction of the person that I am right now and uh, a depiction of my design style, my current design style. So the items that I've picked out are very me right now. I'm more centered, I'm more calm, I'm very more, I think I'm more mature in my design choices I try to buy things that have a little bit more character not such bright and shiny things as I did last time so I've definitely evolved in that department and I restyled my vanity table and I just wanted to share with you guys what that looks like now I've also included some bonus footage of our vanity our his and hers vanity table in our bathroom which is the, the ones that contains our sinks I've also included some uh, images and videos of how that looks like and then I've also included some bonus footage of how I style my costume jewelry not style it but organize it with some systems that I just purchased at Mr. Price Home. I really hope you find the video enlightening, hope that you find it enjoyable and yeah without any further ado let's get into the video and watch until the end and remember to like and subscribe. So I'll start right up here on my floating shelf and just show you what that looks like now. I can't remember what I had up here last time but it wasn't cute. I've grown. I've <laughs> my taste has improved quite dramatically since then and this is how it looks like now so i'll start with the artwork this piece i got from Corey craft it's just an abstract piece of art uh, with these amazing colors which i think do very well in this bathroom because of the muted tones it also blends in quite well with the paints the wall paints that we have on there and then all the accessories i've placed on they also really do well on it when i look at this piece of art it makes me calm and i just really love what it does does to the area i think it's just what this area needed so over to the left over here i've got this sculpture the half a face of a man this uh, this is a ceramic sculpture that i got from at home it's open there and i just keep all my pills that i need to take in the morning in there they are nicely hidden away and then you've also got this nice piece of art that's really contemplative and just a nice touch does very well with the color scape over here over to this side i've got a glass candle which you'll have seen in my other videos uh not a glass sorry, uh this is a brass candle got this from um got this from woolies a couple of years ago i love the color i love that it's quite sturdy i've dropped it a couple of times and so it's got some knocks over there but i really like the color that it brings to this area just so that it's not so muted not so beige not so gray so it's just nice to have that little pop and it's that ties in very well with the gold accents that we have at the bottom here so it's a really nice touch over to this side this is a recent purchase this is uh, i don't know i think this looks like aphrodite aphrodite i don't know how to pronounce her name this is uh, basically a sculpture of the greek goddess and i really love this so it just dawned on me the other day that i could actually use this number one as a sculptural piece as an art piece as a decorative piece and then it dawned on me that i could also use this to um display some of my um necklaces on here because i used to have another little unit for my necklaces and i decided to put these on here and i like the way that looks at least they're not tangled up at least they're nice and straight on here and it really likes i like i like art i like decorative pieces that are functional and decorative and i think that really brings that nicely together i just want to flip the camera over to the other side so i can show you some other art work that i have in this area so over on this side i've got this gorgeous abstract art piece also from Corey craft and I've just got it to the right of my vanity table. It was actually initially meant to come over here, but it couldn't fit, so I placed it over there. So I really like the the contrast. I really like that they are both very abstract and just the color, the neutral tones. I really love those. So this is the top of my vanity table. Let's move down to the bottom. So the most dramatic change is over here on my vanity table and this is how it looks like now and I love it. 
Let me start over here. This is just a mirror that I use for when I'm um, doing my makeup and I just need it to be magnified. It's a uh, times five magnifying mirror and I just keep that over here. I use that every morning when I'm applying makeup. And then so the next item on this vanity table is my gorgeous acrylic box from Caribou Flowers with preserved roses. Preserved roses are basically real life roses that have been chemically treated and these ones last for over three years. They don't require any maintenance. You just enjoy their beauty, make sure they're not in direct sunlight. You don't water them. They're just there to be beautiful. So this is my acrylic box from Caribou Flowers, like I said, and it comes with a drawer underneath here. You can put anything you want to in this drawer. They actually, initially when you get it, it comes with chocolates. And then once you've eaten the chocolates, you can use it to display your jewelry like I did with mine. The third item on my vanity table is this gorgeous uh, glass frame that I got in, I got this, I think in Woolies in South Africa. I purchased this a couple of weeks, a uh, couple of years ago. I think I may have mentioned it in my first vanity table organization video. I purchased it in Woolies, like I said, and I just love it. I love the gold backdrop. I love that it's glass and it's really minimalist. The star of this is really the picture that's inside. And that's just the picture of my husband and I on our wedding day. It's taken by Tori. And I really love this. It makes me feel so nice when I look at it. It's just a moment in time that, you know, that is basically mine forever to cherish with this picture. And it's just, it's, it's always a nice reminder of how far my husband and I have come. Get out of the sun so that the lighting is better. Okay. So this is my marble tray. And I like to keep all of my stuff on here just so that everything is cohesive and nicely organized if you haven't noticed by now i love to use trays i use trays in each and every room in my house and it just helps me to feel organized i also feel like it just helps to elevate your items it helps to elevate the items that you've placed on the tray and also to just group things accordingly so you'll see trays all over my house i use them everywhere to just add that it's uh, that little extra uh, elevation that these items need so let me just walk you through some of the items i've got in here these are body foam luxury scented body foam candles that we also sell at caribou home caribou flowers and you can i'll link them in them in the description box so that you can link uh, uh purchase them directly i just love the feminine energy they bring into my vanity area love how it looks like i'm not going to be burning that it's strictly just for the looks hey and then I've got my 8-hour cream, my Elizabeth 8-hour cream, which I use for my lips and my hands. And then I've got my Estee Lauder eye cream, which I use in the evening. Really love this product. And then these are skin functional products that I've been using for the past almost two months, I think. These were gifted to me by Skin Functional, a South African company. Gorgeous products. I'll also link them in the description box. And I've been using their blemish, uh, blemish corrector and the exfoliating facial. So these are out here because it's the stuff that I use in the evening. And I really love it. Really affordable products made in South Africa, made in Africa. So the next item I have on here is this, this jasmine perfume that I got from Poetry Stores. I love this. I love to use it in the evening. Uh, I just like to go to bed feeling fresh, even if it's for the husband of my, for the benefit of my husband, because I can't smell any anything uh it's nice i love how minimal it looks i love the packaging and uh, it was also quite affordable and i used this as my evening perfume so right next to that i've got this um vintage atomizer which i purchased from um amazon i love this i love how vintage it looks it's just so cute it really gives me those hollywood old hollywood feels and i've basically just got a fragrance oil in here that we purchased in egypt Egypt is really good with fragrance oils. I'm actually using the fragrant, the fragrant oil inside here is the same fragrance oil that they said Cleopatra used to use. So I can't remember what it's called, but that's what I have in here. And I also use it. I alternate basically, basically between these two in the evenings. Sometimes I'll use this and then other times I'll use this just before bed. And I really love the way it displays. It's such a cute decorative item, but functional as well. Okay, so this is the final item I have on here. This is just um, a lamp, a table lamp that I got from at home. Uh, really uh, inexpensive. This is $350. I love this brass uh, detail down here. And then I'll usually light this if I'm applying makeup at, uh, at night and I need some extra lighting, then I'll usually light this. And I really like the way it looks like mm. with everything else. And that's, those are just the breast touches I was talking about that I needed to mimic up here 
with that brass candle so it just it's, it's just so that everything is cohesive and works well together all right so that's basically the tour of the vanity table on the top the vanity the vanity table top that's how that looks like So this is an overview of how this area looks like and I'm just going to go in and show you the details. Alright, so we'll start over here. This is my side of the vanity and I've just got a tray over here. If you follow me, you know that I love to carry my stuff and just group my stuff on trays. I just think it really elevates whatever you put on it. It's just a nice way to organize your stuff and it also just brings a nice chic element to what you've placed there. Uh, so I've got this glass uh, little tray that I bought ages ago from Pep Home. I've just got my cup, my glass here that I use to rinse my mouth. I also drink my mouthwash from there. This is from um this is from poetry stores you have seen it in the last video and then this is just a marble canister that i keep my earbuds in and then this is a resin soap bottle a soap dispenser that i got from at home so this is the detail of the faucet over there which i really love i love the detail the architectural design of this really nice basins very different not your usual stuff you'd see and then these are the drawers where we keep our stuff then down here we've got a nice coral just for decorative purposes then we keep our towels folded up over here over here i keep my hand towels nicely folded uh, from um, the, the towels of the hand towels are from Pip Home, and i've just placed them in a glass tray from at home and then we've got this brass vase and these uh, orchids from Caribou Home, the brass vase is from at home. And I just wanted to tie that in with the brass details that we have on my vanity table. So we've got that there as a nice little centerpiece. And then on this side, we've got the same thing. And then just a little tray with the same marble canister with earpad, uh, earbuds and then uh, just the glass there. So this is how that area looks like. And I like that it ties in well with what's on this side. So the two things and the two areas are speaking to each other. My artwork over here, such a nice thing to see and look at every morning. And yeah, so this is how that area looks like. I also wanted to show you guys how I organize my jewelry drawer with these organizing trays that I got from Mr. Price Home the other day. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me post these. And I used to keep my jewelry in like different containers and it wasn't working for me. So when I purchased this, it also caused me to just purge out all the stuff that I didn't want, the stuff that didn't make me happy anymore. And I love the color of these. I like how it makes my jewelry pop. And I'm really happy with them. They were 249 I believe. No, 279 So quite reasonably priced. And you just basically put all your jewelry in here. You can see exactly what you have. Everything is nicely displayed. And really, I just, I just love... I really just love how it makes me feel to be able to see all my stuff out here. I've got my rings here. I've got my earrings. I've got my watches, my brooches. Over here, I've got all my brooches. This is actually a brooch I inherited from my grandmother in 2006. I still have that. And then just costume jewelry, earrings. I really collect brooches. I really love those. Uh, these are the earrings I wore on my wedding day. Really love those. I hope I can give these to my daughter one day on her wedding day. And these are also earrings I wore on my wedding day at my reception. So these are really special to me. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's just something that I wanted to show you guys, share with you guys that you can use uh, to organize your own jewelry. And I've just got them in my dresser. All right, Rafiki. So that was me. That was my new vanity table updated tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to get some tips and tricks to use around 
your own home to use around styling your vanity table or whatever area that you've dedicated in your home to celebrate you and to just you know take the day off like i do at my vanity table i hope that you enjoyed the video and i would like to encourage you to go on over to my instagram page and my twitter pages mutindi l jacobs and follow me on there i update more frequently on there not so much in youtube and yeah thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate you and i'll see you guys i'll see you Rafikis, in the next video Mwah.